week is all about making videos answering questions that were asked by you guys. And today's topic is how my anxiety affects my productivity considering I run my own business. So this video is actually requested by Sarah. She messaged me on Facebook letting me know that she just started a self-help blog. And with her permission, I'll put a link down below. And she was wondering, considering the fact that I have anxiety that sometimes gets to a debilitating point in my life where I need to like just not do anything, how does that all work considering I am attempting to start up my own business? So throughout this video, I am going to refer to Lauren Without Fear as my business. And so when I say business, I'm referring to my blog and my YouTube channel combined together because um, it is about half my income. But yeah, I'm getting closer and closer to making this my actual like full-time career. So this really is my business. This is way beyond a hobby, that's for sure. <laughs> so I've dealt with anxiety pretty much my entire life. And sometimes my anxiety gets me into these phases of life where I get hyper-focused on negative things and I worry like just a big unhealthy circle of worry. And and it can sometimes lead me into a spiral of really debilitating depression. And so when this happens, I feel like my own productivity is completely out of my control. I actually put up a video last week about depression. It was 12 different people, including myself, explaining what depression really feels like. And it was crazy how many people said that depression affects their productivity like greatly. Like when you get into this mode of depression, everything feels so meaningless and worthless, even things you care about, like Lauren Without Fear. I'm so passionate about Lauren Without Fear and about this whole story of facing your fears in order to go after the things you love in life so you can live the best life possible. I'm so passionate about this. But during bouts of depression, I don't care at all. I realize how horrible that sounds. That's the truth. That's what it really feels like. I just don't care about anything. When you don't care about anything at all and nothing has any meaning anymore, you start to question like, why am I even alive at that point? And it's not like in a suicidal way. It's just in like a lay down and give up and like, who cares? kind of way. There's really no motivation to do anything, as you can imagine. It's not laziness. It's like this chemical process happening in your brain that's just like feels so out of your control. So when I get into modes like that, it 100% affects my productivity. It affects my business. You guys have seen it a couple times where there was a video I put up that was like why I've been offline. And it's because I was in this just really like random deep depression. I don't know where it came from. It just like kind of came out of nowhere. So during that instance, I actually took a break. So the beautiful thing about working for yourself and doing your own online business and all this stuff is that you can take a break whenever you like. I've had bouts of depression where I had to go into a job. And I specifically remember a time when I was working at my retail job, I was trying to tell my boss that I was sick. And she's like, you don't seem sick. I couldn't say the words. I was like, I, I am so deeply depressed right now that I cannot be here at work. Like that's how I felt, but I couldn't say it to her. And I was raised to be a productive person. I was raised to kind of rise above my mental health and to persevere regardless, which is not always a good idea. But when you work for something like a retail job where they just like, they're gonna fire you if you don't go to work, I had to go to work. And I did a really terrible job at work, spreading this horrible mood to the customers. I am doing like the minimum that I have to do. I'm having like bouts of crying in the back room. It was, it was really horrible. And when you place that in the context of your own online business, the great thing is that you can take time off. You can take a break. And the beauty of that is that it usually takes less time to recuperate after something like that. Obviously, it depends greatly on how deep the depression goes, what the situation is, all that kind of stuff. But for me, I feel like I'm able to recuperate a little bit faster and get back to work a little bit faster if I take the time off that I need to take off. The bad thing is that this affects productivity. That's why in a retail job, they're like, no, you have to stay at work because it's gonna mess with productivity, which is gonna affect you know, the success of the business and all that kind of stuff. So it's it has negative effects on your business, unfortunately. If you see something popping out of the corner, it's my dog. <laughs> if any of you guys ever wonder what Abe is doing during my videos, this is what he does. So yeah, it, um, it definitely affects my productivity negatively during my bouts of depression because the business runs entirely off of me. If I don't make a video, there's not gonna be a video. Depression is like, it puts like a halt on everything and it like changes me as a human and makes me just like look like a lazy ass, basically. Like I'm not lazy, I'm an extremely productive person. <laughs> 
<laughs> my husband is like, take a break, sit down, relax, ask for help when you need it. Like he's always like trying to remind me like, you don't have to do everything. You're not super woman. Like take a breath for a second. I had to take a break from filming and go eat because I was like so hungry, I was shaking. So if something looks different, I probably don't have any lip color on anymore. That's why. <laughs> so I touched on the subject of what happens when I get into kind of like a bout of really bad depression. So now I wanna talk about day-to-day -day anxiety, like how that affects my productivity. I think number one thing is that sometimes I worry about things too much and it causes me to spend too much time on them because I can get really hyper-focused. For instance, if I'm making a thumbnail, I can get really obsessive about like making sure that the text looks perfect and I'll spend like 30 minutes making a thumbnail that should take me like 10 minutes to make. Sometimes because of my anxiety, I can spend too much time on one thing and end up not completing my to-do list for the day. I want to talk about to-do lists actually. So I make a to-do list pretty much every day. I love making lists. I used to make these huge to-do lists and I could never complete them because I'm not a superhero. And then I would feel like a lack of accomplishment at the end of the day because I didn't achieve all my goals. Since starting to use online therapy, so I use betterhelp.com. I have a link down below. It is an affiliate link, but I've honestly been using this online counseling website for months and I love it. Since using BetterHelp and talking with my therapist online about the fact that I like feel unproductive, even if I am productive, she has opened my eyes to the fact that like maybe the goal shouldn't be to complete the entire to-do list. Like I should feel a sense of accomplishment when I accomplish a couple things. At the end of the day, I should pat myself on the back and reach a point where I can say, okay, I'm done with work for the day and I go relax. A few things I do that probably not every YouTuber or blogger does, and it's because of my mental health issues, I make sure to spend time every evening, at least a full hour, doing something that's just pure fun. So whether I'm watching like a bunch of vlogs, or I'm playing Final Fantasy, I've been playing a lot of Final Fantasy lately, or whatever it is, I will spend a good chunk of time every single night doing something that is completely unproductive and just for fun. The other thing I do is I get a full night's sleep. That is so important. I sleep probably an average of eight, nine hours a night, which is a lot. But to be honest, that's what I feel like I function best off of. So I prioritize sleep and I prioritize taking a break in order to be more productive during the day. I really feel like getting into that routine has helped me to be more productive. Also, I think meditation has really helped me to like just be present and to be realistic about my goals for the day. I have a whole video on that that I made a while back. If I keep looking over this way, it's because I saw a giant spider over there and I'm like terrified. I know this video has been really all over the place, so I apologize. It's really hard to explain anxiety and like my daily routine to people. So if you have any specific questions, let me know. But the last thing I will say is that some days I start out feeling overwhelmed. And so instead of getting to work, I'll focus on something that's not important and distract myself with unimportant things and basically procrastinate what I actually should be doing because that feeling of overwhelm is freaking me out and causing anxiety about my work. So I just end up avoiding my work. So I can get really like lost in a wormhole of watching YouTube videos. And so I will limit the amount of time I spend watching YouTube videos. I wake up early, even if it's not a day where I actually have to go into an office. Cause I also have a part-time job that I have to commute to three times a week. So even though I don't technically have to get up early, I do get up early because if I get up too late, then it kind of throws the whole routine off. So basically I try to keep on like a pretty basic routine. Like every day I usually go to bed around like 10 30 or 11 and I'll wake up at like 7 30, 8, sometimes a little bit earlier. depends on what's going on. But sticking to that routine, communicating with my therapist, trying to practice meditation on a regular basis and setting some basic like ground rules for myself as in like don't watch more than two YouTube videos in the morning, do something fun at night, take an actual lunch break in the middle of the day. Those kinds of things really help to get myself into this routine of productivity. I sometimes fluctuate between being like really prepared and caught up and making videos in advance and scheduling videos in advance. Like right now, it's actually the week before you guys are seeing this video because I've got a lot of stuff happening. So I am able to work in advance, but unfortunately sometimes when I get into these really anxious or like depressive states, 
sometimes I mean to work in advance and I don't and then I end up working like in the moment and that's really stressful so I do my best to try to prepare and work in advance but you know it's kind of a daily struggle to be honest what it really comes down to is it's a daily battle <laughs> but I wouldn't trade it for anything I love running my own business I love being self-employed at least partly self-employed and I'm almost to full self-employment which I'm so grateful for and so proud of I've worked so hard to get here so that's just proof that even if you do suffer from anxiety or depression and it is debilitating it doesn't mean that you can't do what you want if you want to start your own business you can do it it's just that you have to anticipate that it's not like you're gonna flip a switch and all of a sudden be a perfect business owner like you're still gonna be human and you're gonna be you and you kind of have to factor that in to the way that you build your routine and the way that you move forward and the thing is is you're not gonna get it right from the get-go like when I first started what I did on a daily basis looks a lot different than what I do now and it's because over over time I've learned what works best for me and I've gotten to a good place now I feel like more settled and I feel like I've got more room to like say yes to big projects which is really exciting so it's all good things so if you guys are starting up your own business or you just are wondering how on earth I like function doing basically one and a half jobs despite dealing with a lot of anxiety this is how so yeah that's everything thanks again Sarah check out better help if you have not tried online counseling and you are someone who deals with a lot of mental health issues and you find it affecting your productivity, finding a good therapist that you actually really connect with on BetterHelp can be like so beyond worth the cost of BetterHelp that it's ridiculous. It is so much cheaper than regular counseling. And I sent my therapist like a monster of a message yesterday and I woke up this morning and I was like, <sighs> I just felt free. It's like so amazing. I honestly love it. Anyways, I'm gonna stop talking. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on Friday. I will be wearing the same outfit because I'm filming in advance. My parents are coming into town actually. So that's why all these videos are being filmed in advance. And last thing, I just bought my new camera, you guys. I'm so excited. So maybe next Tuesday's video will be like an unboxing and first impressions and that kind of stuff of my new camera. I got the Sony A5100. It is gonna make my life so much more efficient. I'm so excited about it. And my patrons are a huge reason that happened. So thank you, thank you, thank you if you were one of my patrons over on Patreon, link below. Anyways, okay, wow, this is a really unorganized video. Thank you for dealing with all this. Okay, bye.